Welcome to the University of New England and the Student Financial Services Office. This three-minute video will introduce you to the basics of financial aid. It is very important that you watch this as there will be a short quiz that you'll have to complete to move on. The process is fairly simple. Register for A and or B terms. UNE will send a bill for tuition and fees. Then you'll need to make payment arrangements, either through direct payment, a payment plan, or by filing for financial aid. If you are paying with veterans benefits or third-party payments, please contact us. Let's take a close look at the award overview section of UOnline. The cost of attendance right here estimates costs you may want to budget for the year, and it is the maximum we can cover with financial aid. Your tuition charge will depend on the number of credits you are taking. You will not be billed this cost of attendance listed in UOnline. The only charges you will see on your bill are for tuition and fees. You must be eligible for federal financial aid. If you are, file the FAFSA with UNE's six-digit code. Allow at least five to seven days for us to process your information. Please note, the FAFSA opens October 1st for the next year, and summer is always the beginning of UNE's new school year. You'll be awarded the unsubsidized loan to cover the cost of your courses, which will include a stipend for each semester's supplies to reimburse you. If your costs exceed the annual loan limit, you may be awarded the Graduate PLUS loan. However, this loan requires a credit check. If you're denied, we will notify you. Your initial award will be based on six credits each semester. We will make the unnecessary adjustments right after add drop. If you want to notify us that your enrollment will be different, please send us an email telling us the number of credits you'll be taking each semester. Also, let us know if you plan to graduate before the end of the year. Once we email you to let you know your award is ready, you'll need to accept your aid. Go to your UOnline account and accept the terms and conditions on tab 4 and then accept the award on tab 5. If this is your first time borrowing loans at UNE, you'll need to complete a master promissory note for each loan, if more than one, and then complete one entrance counseling for graduate students found at studentloans.gov. Some might need to borrow additional money for living expenses, which is fine if you're careful. You may borrow up to $1,000 per month you're enrolled. You can find the link for the living expenses form in the terms and conditions on you online and must reapply every year. You must qualify for the Grad Plus loan if it's needed to increase your aid. We know you're concerned about your refund. Please use our disbursement schedule found at this link to find the date your loan funds will pay. However, this is not the date of your refund. Please allow 7 to 10 days after the published disbursement date for your refund to reach you. If you're interested in having your refunds deposited directly into your bank account, please complete the direct deposit form, mail this form along with an original copy of avoided check or bank authorization letter. You must snail mail these documents to UNE's Accounts Payables Office. You must make satisfactory academic progress to be eligible for aid. Achieve a minimum grade point average, pass a certain percentage of courses you take, and complete your program within a certain time frame. We will send email warnings if you are not meeting any of these standards. For more information, go to our website or contact us. We are open Monday through Friday for phone calls, and you can email us anytime. We wish you the very best as you earn your UNE education. Thank you for your time.